What's up, Mercs? It's Jono here, and today we're going to be starting our Let's Play of Tropico 5. So we're going to get right into it. I'll be playing a Sandbox mode. Our dynasty will be named Ebon Hand. And now let's create our character. So I haven't really thought about the skill uh, that we're going to use. We're going to be a male. And let's see if we can get the closest thing to Balathar. I think Baltasar is the best, or at least the closest. Converts two votes when cheating on elections. No... Hmm, I don't want to go through all the skills. Foreign aid's not bad. Cheapskate is probably really good there. Um, cheapskate is... Hmm, I think cheapskate is what I want. There's not that many skills, so I think cheapskate... All constructions are 4% cheaper. I think I like that. And then, it doesn't really matter what we choose for this. I'll just choose what I am. We'll be Caucasian. And, yeah, it looks good for a face. Uh, let's see, what kind of outfit do we want? A dictator, of course. We'll change our color. Black, and maybe a red kind of thing. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. I don't want to be bald. What can we do here with the hair? That one doesn't look too bad. That one's not bad. Ooh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Let's get kind of an older color hair. And then, of course, you want her top hat. Oh, man. Oh, man. Did I say top hat? The fedora. I don't like fedoras, but that looks really good. Do they have, like, a cowboy hat? Yeah, and the fedora looks better. <laughs> because this is red. That fedora doesn't look like a fedora. It looks like a, uh... Like an officer hat, you know? Like, from the 1800s, kind of. That looks really good. I don't know. I, I like that. So we'll wear a fedora. <laughs> I don't really want to wear a fedora, but I like it. I really like it in this. All right, aviators are good. Let's get right into it here. Okay, we'll do a generated map. I think we're just going to choose everything basic, except for large, of course, not medium. Yeah, we'll do large, because large is good. Hills, adequate, resources. Yeah, I don't want to make it too easy with flat or anything like that. Yeah, normal climate, all that stuff. And we'll just leave all this the basic stuff. I'm not going to turn disasters off, because where's the fun in that? So let's start the game. I'm really excited to play Tropico 5. Uh, I've played a little bit of... Uh, I didn't really finish a game. I played a little bit before off-screen, just doing the Colonial Era. Because if you guys don't know, the new Tropico, it actually adds um, more than just, you know, starting out in the Cold War and doing that kind of thing. We start out in the Colonial Era right now. Era. So we're actually... A Spanish colony right now, which is interesting. So let's see. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. Okay, so we can get trade started. We get one free trade ship when we do this. I could buy a trade license from Dutch or from the Dutch, and that will only cost five hundred dollars. But I'll get minus ten crown relations, which um. That's, that's, uh, the, the Spanish, that's the Spanish king, like the Spanish, the Spanish, <laughs> that's just the Spanish. My relations with the, uh, basically my king, I, I, can, I don't know how to explain other than that. I can buy the silver package, which is just, you know, right in the middle, and then of course we have additional trading offers. I think I'll get the silver package, just so we can write down the middle. We need a road here, so let's, uh, get a road going here. Oh, come on. Oh, man. I mean, I guess that doesn't look too bad. It's not totally straight, but it doesn't need to be. I don't want everything straight and gridlocked His anyway. Has come up with a most ingenious plan to defeat our enemies. We will send them food and then conquer them once they have become fat and lazy. Okay, so this reward you get, your mandate will be extended by six months. We have to build a pig ranch. So in the colonial era, you have a mandate, which is, if this runs out, I think you basically lose. That's it. So I have a four-year mandate right now uh, while in the colonial era. Uh, mandate doesn't mean anything once you get out of the colonial era. You actually lose mandate, but uh, right now we want to keep our mandate up so I don't, you know, lose. So let's build a pig ranch. Which, we have a really good island for it, actually. We'll do it right here. Actually, we already have a ranch. Why not we just turn this to pigs? Oh, we already have... It. It's it's not going to count, will it? We need to make a new ranch. Pfft. Course. Okay. 
So, should I put it like right here? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I guess it's a little bit greener here, but I kind of want something on the uh, beach side. Okay, that's good. We'll speed up the game a little bit here. And there we go. Pig Ranch is constructing. Now, let's take a look at our trade and see what we can do. We need to set up trade right away. So, we can export corner fish. Nothing, no meat, which is unfortunate. We can't export meat, so we're going to have to get another trade. I'm thinking fish. So we can export this for $180 over its default price. This is only $90 over its default price. So honestly, corn is the best thing. But I don't know how good corn production we have. Let's see. Mm, over here, it's pretty damn good, actually. We could make it right here, and it'd be excellent. We can make a big farm here, except it would kind of block everything. I don't want everything to be blocked over... I mean, well, what's over here, honestly? Hmm... I'd probably build out this way, so this doesn't really matter. Interesting looking island we got here. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Okay, so let's see. We can get a reward just because commendations. So we can get 10 citizens, more mandate, to a year more mandate. We have $5,000 in the Swiss bank or $5,000 in general. I think we'll get the $5,000 in general. We really do need the money right now. We don't really need the mandate because we have four years and three months. So I could continue this road. And then this will allow me to build over there even more. This road's going to be really wonky, but... I'll be able to keep the road going and we can actually utilize this rather than like putting the road this way and blocking it off of the farm. This is a little bit easier. So let's do this. We get a corn plantation going. Although, no, nope, that's good. That's perfect. That'll work out great. Yeah, it should work out really good. Let me just make sure most of it is in the red or in the green here. There we go. That works out very nicely. I want to get some housing up soon, a little bit more. Because we don't have any housing right now. Actually, we do. We have four country houses. Might want to get a little bit more up soon? I don't know, though. Build a library? Okay, I'm not going to worry about listening to dialogue all that. This is not that kind of game. So, we need a library up so we can start research. How much does a library cost? 4800 I don't want to put myself in debt right away, so let's not do that. Let's take the corn... We will export corn to smugglers, which this does uh, reduce our standing with the crown, which is unfortunate. However, money. I need money. So the crown will have the deal. What is our standing with the crown anyway? Because we want to keep the crown happy. Here we go, politics. Fip neutral, okay, so it won't be that much. We'll just go down to 49. We want to keep the crown happy, but also build up uh, a revolution so we can become independent. We want to become independent from England. I mean, England. Holy crap. Spain. Spain. Spanish. We want to become independent from Spanish. From Spain. Holy crap. <laughs> How many people do we have right now, actually? Still 50. We didn't actually haven't gotten any anyone from boat yet. Although, I don't think we had any boats yet, so that's probably why. Trade isn't up yet. We're not actually gaining any money or anything. Not until this is done. So... Everyone's eating pig, eating meat. Uh, what I could do is I could turn the consumption off for this. Yeah, I'm going to actually turn the consumption off so no one will eat corn. We can just trade that corn away. That would probably be better. Because we have plenty. We have meat. And now we can make a library. We have plenty of money now. Should I make it right here? Hmm. I want kind of more of a... I don't know, like a city center. So maybe make it across the street from the plaza? The plaza. The uh, palace? That would be nice. Export 3,500 meat? Perfectly easy. We'll turn the consumption back on because now we have to start exporting meat. And I'll actually turn one of the consumptions for the pigs off so we can export more meat quickly. Which is good now. What else can we... What should we make, rather? How are we doing on food? Because, I mean, we have a decent amount, but... We only have one food variety. We only have meat. Corn hasn't actually started yet. Um, about 34 food. That's good. Does that mean 34 people fed? No, because this is 52. We don't have... Or do we? We have 47. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm still a little bit confused in the numbers. 
but I think 34 is maybe it's 34 percent of the population. I'm not 100 percent sure. The crown sends us 5,400 dollars. Great. So why don't we uh, get something else going while we're at it, like another dock so we can trade? Let me just see. We can trade logs. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's make sure we get logs and stuff. That's what I can do over here. We need to explore this, though, so we can build there. So let's get an expedition going all the way to this side. Get our soldiers all running out there. And then once we explore this, I'll put a logging camp down there. That should be good for a logging camp, right? I mean, this would be nice, but I want to expand that way. So, can I, uh... There we go, like that. And this is unexplored, so I can't actually do anything there. Gotta wait till it's explored. Okay. Run, soldiers, run! I need you. The library is built, we just need foreign workers. Well, we need workers in general. Um, we need college education, so I better invite a foreign worker for that. 11 new citizens, very good. Look at all this meat we're exporting right off the bat. Look at that. Let me actually finish this. Quick, export that meat. We need that exported. There it goes. Is that meat? Let's see. Was it? No, it wasn't any meat. It's probably corn. To help him find the best food in the empire, the king has organized Wait. a royal cook -off. What? We must show him that tropical oh, cuisine okay. is the best cuisine. So, we can get a chef. Oh, no. Oh, we're sending a chef to him. So, we can send a... We can't send a dynasty member because... The only dynasty member is me. We don't have any other dynasty members currently. We can send a Punal Timo. I don't know what that is. This is a six-month uh, mandate extension. Or I can send my personal chef, which increases revolutionary support. I don't need mandate extension, so we'll do that so I can increase the support for revolutionaries. Shit. Duty is never done. No, go here. You guys, didn't, you guys didn't do it good. Did a horrible job. Just explore this. That's all I need explored right here. You guys did a horrible job exploring. Okay, we're exploring meat nice and easily there. I do want to get another trade ship up soon. Okay. And then we'll just recall them because they're done now. They're done with what I need at least. So let's build outward. I want that curved road. There we go. We will grab a logging camp. Doesn't say it's too good. Mm, I want to put a road so it's a little bit further off. I can make a new logging camp in the future. That's a little bit better. Because this doesn't have the most trees. However, it's better than putting it where we're going to expand. Speaking of expansion, I need some homes. Let's grab some real quick. Let's make a little bit of a, like a block kind of thing. Actually, I want to build build them off this way and then we'll get residential we we'll get a country house we'll grab they're pretty expensive they're 1500 so we'll grab one for now we don't want to spend too much we still didn't get our foreign worker we gotta wait for the next ship to come which there it is now that should bring the foreign worker one foreign worker has His arrived That's good um you with this let's get a mandate expansion Expansion, expansion, just so we can uh, be 100% safe with that. We have a huge island. This is large. This is really big. Tropical 5 is multiplayer, and it's really interesting looking. I might actually play it sometime. It's really cool. Oh, these are the smugglers. Look at that. They have a cool ship. These guys don't have a cool ship. Theirs is just white, even though they're, they're basically the same ship, except one's green. And we explored the meat. That's good. So that gives us some more mandate, I believe. Or... No, what, what were you exploring the meat for? Governor, I think we already had that. that. Initiate any export so trade route. Your the okay, here we go. This is revolutionary support. Stronger. Three educated civilians or citizens, whichever. That's that's good. Uh, let's get on that trade rot route. So let's get a new dock here. So we can get another trading ship. Let's see. New trade route. Iron. Yes. Sugar. Sugar. Coffee. Here you go. This is $400, this is $300, so, I mean, you're getting a better deal with the sugar. We'll see which is easier. So let's try. Let's do plantation, let's see. Coffee. Got some really good coffee areas and uh, versus sugar. Got some decent sugar areas here. 
Although coffee is much, 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 much better. Yeah. In fact, if I line it up with this, it'll be perfect. Except it won't be able to grow everything. We'll just do it, though. Oh, and I forgot. I need to start my research. I'm not used to research, because it's new. But anyway, let's start that. So, let's get the sickle for farm upgrades, then ranch upgrades, the cowboys, and we'll get mines. Why not get all those queued up? It'll take a few years to finish all those. And, yes, build my coffee plant. I need the coffee. Actually, finish this first. Um, I don't want to quick build it. It'll take way too much. Way too much money. Don't want to do that. Don't feel comfortable doing that. What is this? This is freighter with 12 immigrants. That's always good. We need people. Um, How are we on food? Let me see. I just want to see the food numbers. Still 34. Oh, here we go. Okay, so uh, local food consumption 38, local food consumption 27. Of so altogether, we are feeding the whole population. Oh yeah, we are. We have plenty feeding the whole population. So let's see, homeless people. We have 19 homeless, but that's just because we don't really have mass homing like housing yet. We don't have like apartments or anything like that. We had three deaths, only to healthcare, no starvation, only to healthcare and old age. So. That is okay. Well, it's not okay. Can we get a clinic yet? No, clinic isn't locked in World Wars. Hmm. Maybe a grocer, though. A grocery would be fine. So people can get their food more readily. It's not expensive, so might as well. Uh, I might get a fishing wharf, too, just so I can get more food variety. Yeah, and then make get more jobs going. Although, I need to put it... A yeah, specific mo marine deposit. What do the fishing areas look like? Because I made a fishing wharf before. I don't know what the, they look like though. Is it in overlays maybe? I don't see anything about fish. That's the thing. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Maybe it's just too far for the road system. So let's uh, try just to build a road right here. Just so we can build a fishing wharf. I'll probably de destroy that road. It's just testing to see if I can make one. What am I doing? Wharf. And require specific marine deposit. I don't know where that what that looks like. Marine deposit. Like I don't know what exactly that looks like. Like is this a marine deposit? Or is that oil? Maybe oil. I don't know. Great news. Plantation upgrades unlocked. That's good. Or is this a marine deposit? Because it looks like it's shallower out. I have no idea. Hmm. That is one thing I'm a little bit confused about. Well, I guess I'll figure it out in due time. Let's just get that destroyed then. Get this out of there. It's kind of gross that it left that uh, dirt behind. But what can you do? A new mission. Research the sickle. There you go. We already got it. <laughs> and let's get more money. We need some money. Money, money, money. Very good. Here we go. We can now make a new trade. So let's set up coffee. Well, tobacco. Tobacco is a much bigger... Um... Oh, God, no. Nope. Definitely not. It's a much bigger profit because it's a $600 profit. Oh, you can't even do it anymore. <laughs> we lost it. Whatever. We'll just do coffee. That's fine. Add a ship to coffee. There we go. Now we're getting coffee. And we're selling uh, corn. So now, why don't... Maybe a ranch? Or, or a plantation? No, do a ranch. Milk. Milk and meat. Yeah, milk's fine. I see some green. I see a lot of green. milk and meat so this way you know more foods i don't know if milk's considered food I'm not 100 percent sure i mean it's obviously a drink but i don't know if it's considered food in this game we'll make another plantation here though this is gonna be our farming area and then we'll expand outward this way that's fine with me we're doing nice on these Someone stole my manuscript and ranch upgrades unlocked let's look at upgrades for this all right, reforestation is in the World Wars. Let's start upgrading these. Effectiveness by 2,000. Or by 20. It's 2,000 dollars. That's a lot of money, actually. And we'll upgrade this one to overfeeding. 
Effectiveness is increased by 20, but job quality is increased by 10. What we'll do that, and what we'll do is... I'll raise their money. There you go. Governor, my special friends are Build a new dock. We're going to do that anyway. Love life has led to an unexpected pregnancy. Organize a quick wedding. Wedding. Why? I don't know why my words are not coming out correctly. Uh, <laughs> they're not. They don't want to. Let's get a wedding going. Uh, that's... That, wait, where's... Where's... Welfare, yeah. Catholic mission. You have plenty of money to do this. So the Catholic mission has, like, two entrances, so I kind of want to make it... Yeah, it looks good. Oh, wait. It, you don't need it like this, but I, like, make everything look proper. His Majesty Percy. Two upgrade plantations. We have one, so let's upgrade the other. Boom. There you go. His Royal Majesty. Now we can get another commendation. you with this... Letter of commendation. Let's get ten citizens. That's always nice. Ten citizens is really nice, actually. And uh, speaking of new citizens, we why don't we get another house? This can hold four families. It's pretty good. Not as good as an apartment or a tenement or anything, but four families is pretty damn good. Mines are unlocked. Next, we can do these. Let's do the lumber mill first. Manager skills for production buildings. We'll do a military fort and then a foreman. So, speaking of managers, we can get managers... Oh, we don't actually have any managers. Wait, does that unlock managers? Or is this just, like, the foreman skill? New skills. Well, we can always do an edict. We can do a census. Oh, no. We need red tape, so yeah. Once we do red tape, we can do a census and figure out who's a manager and not... There we go. That's done. Here we go. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we will write in the history books. So we have a new heir. I'm pretty sure this means... Oh, Penultimo. This is who Penultimo is. I didn't know what that was earlier. <laughs> it's my advisor. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this means we have another person in our uh, dynasty. So either that or it's just another citizen that could be a manager. So... No, it's definitely a dice here. These are um, skills. So what do we want to give them? Service buildings constructed. Construction costs decreased by 5%. We'll do admin. Oh, it's a girl. I didn't know. Actually, I like army. Looks nice. So, yeah, it's nice. We'll change your hair. God. Mm. That looks so... That looks fine. Hair color. I'll keep you as a ginger. It's fine. Ooh, that didn't, that that's not good. There we go. Do you need accessories? You know what? This is an aviator family. You need aviators. That's just our family. There we go. Now we have Fortunata, Fortunata Ebenhand, and Balistar or Baltasar. God, I'm already messing these names up. Cool. Nothing in our Swiss account though, unfortunately. But you know, what can you do? We do have a trade set up here. Yep, ooh, wow, we actually have quite a bunch of trade we can do. There we go. So I could make another one and do cotton. Or coffee, we have another coffee one. It's actually really good, too. It's just smugglers again, though. What's our... Oh, our foreign relations with the crown is really good, so that's fine. We have very good standing with the revolutionaries. The royalists hate us, which isn't good. However, I don't think we can be voted out... Um, mainly because, uh, we still have a mandate. As long as we have a mandate, we can't be voted out, so, that's fine. We'll get a dock going again, so we can increase support. And I want a Teamster's office when I get a chance, another one, because we have one over here, right, uh, here, but I want another one closer, like, right here-ish. We got exporting of 2200 and 1800 good amount of money. I just want one closer to my farms. So, and of course, closer to the dock and make everything a little bit faster. Independence must be have a grocery. There you have it. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary um, movement is growing stronger. Import revolutionaries, why not? Get some more educated citizens, it's always nice. Everything is going really nicely. In fact, I do think that people deserve another country house. There we go. So they'll be less homeless. Three more citizens, those are educated citizens. Very nice, is that me? 
Or is that my uh, you hair? Like yep, me Fortunata. Me Fortunata. Fortunata. Fortunata? I don't know. Fortunata. Fortunata. Lumber Mill unlocked. So, I really need this constitution so we can uh, increase support for independence and eventually become independent. So, we'll queue that up. We can do a lumber mill now. So, can we actually trade lumber? No. Or planks. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can trade logs. I think I saw logs, but uh, yeah. Oh, we can import them, but no. Planks, yes. Oh my god, yes. Wow. Let's get that going. Uh, here, a lumber mill. Quite expensive. This is going to put us into debt, but I need this up ASAP. That's fine, though. There you go. New docks going up. What do we get? Revolutionary support. It's good. Lower prices by 20%. Six months mandate extension now and on completion. Furious. He demands more food hmm. right now. Increase prices. How about this? We'll just get six month mandate extension on completion. It's fine. This is just we have to export food. That's that's fine though, because I don't want to change the prices. Thanks to your efforts, the revolution. Uh, let's get more educated citizens. There we go, and we can set up trade for planks. Add that. Good. That should get us a decent amount of money. Wow, look at that. We're already exporting a ton of stuff there. A ton of money. Okay. Exported $4,000 worth of goods. That's very nice. This grocery. I don't know if it's doing lifetime profit. Minus five fifty. I don't think it's supposed to have a profit, really. We have good uh, visitors, though, so people are actually getting to it, which is all that matters. Can I get any managers yet? Yes, I can get an admin. But that's just her. That's my, uh... That's from Fortun Fortunata. Fortunata, there we go. So maximum number of customer service increased by 10%. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't we want to be doing this, then? We'll put her as the uh, manager at the grocery. That's nice there. Great news. The military fort has been unlocked. We actually might need a military fort in the future. Or at least soon. Just, just to get our military presence going. Put our country house right there. If anything, I'll probably put the fort uh, here-ish. Can I put a road that way? Good. Made sure that's all cleared that way. There we go. Like that. And I can put a fort back there. Forts are quite expensive, if I recall, though. Five, eh, six thousand dollars. Not too much. Guard tower. Yeah, we'll get a guard tower. We'll put it right next to our docks here. Let me just zoom in so I make sure it's facing the right way. Doesn't Like I said before, it doesn't have to be facing any particular way. But why would you want backwards buildings? Hmm. There we go. Get a guard tower. Just in case. You never know what could happen. Pirates could come. You never know. You always want something. There we go. Lumber mill is done. We got plenty of people going for it. Jolly good, old chap. You've okay. given his subjects food. So now you should make them pay for Extra it. Extra rations... No free lunch. We'll issue both so we can get both rewards. So, edicts. So we get extra rations. That means everyone gets food, extra food. Which we'll make everyone happy, but then we're going to make them pay for our food. Or their food, which, not as happy. Um, a free technology. There we go. Newspaper unlocked. Always good to have that. We have a constitution, not yet. That's because we didn't research it yet. I don't... Oh, okay, I understand. I was always under the impression that free technology was just uh, the one you're working on, but no, it gave us a random one. Newspaper. Cool. Get red tape queued up. You actually have quite a lot of research. So, that's always nice. Okay. Wait, I can build a newspaper now if I wanted to. Increases liberty in the vicinity. Meh. I don't really need that right now. What I really need is our house, so we'll do that. Another place for people to live. Maybe I'll put a house over here, one or two, just so the uh, families that work in these areas can get some nice living. Oh, you have soldiers, right? We have one soldier. There we go. Where is this guy? There he is. He's at the grocery. Getting some nice food. Awesome. I like my soldiers. Protecting our country, or, uh, I guess colony at this point. 
So I really should start exploring. Let's grab an expedition team. Manager skills for production buildings have been unlocked. Let's send an expedition team out there. Have a lighthouse. That will give us revolutionary support. Okay, how much for a lighthouse? 4,608. That's... Provides additional trade offers? Really? I didn't know it did that. Interesting. We need that. We're actually losing money, though. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our revenue. We're, we're at a negative 6,000. Whoa, what, what happened here? I wish I can click on this and find out what's going on there. Hmm. Interesting. Why are we losing so much money? What's costing so much? I wish you would tell me what costed, like what everything costs. Tons of food. It's good. Yeah, you cut those trees down. Stupid trees. Hmm. I don't want to start dropping... Oh, we just exported a bunch of stuff. I don't want to start dropping prices yet. Hmm. So this is our, exp our expenses exceed our revenue, but... I mean, we're doing fine. We are losing money, but we keep exporting so fast that it honestly doesn't matter too much. We're keeping up with the loss. Okay. Oh, yeah, new mission. Research the subtle. The subtle. Wow. Yep. Words. Let's get $2,000 because we really need it. I don't know why my words are not working today. Oh, and there's the quick save, or I mean auto save rather. Always nice. Crown sends you 6,600. Perfect. That's what we need. And let's actually use that to make a lighthouse. Just make it like that. Put it right out there. Nice. I understand. And we can hire royalists. Um, His Majesty wants you to appoint a royalist. We're gonna hire a royalist for the uh, mandate expansion, and just because expansion, expansion, and just because I want to see if we can get royalist happiness up. Because people hate me, or at least the royalists hate me. Okay. President, you can proclaim independence. Awesome. So we can get out of the colonial era and go to the World War era. But I think. I'm going to end today's journey here, so I will see you all next time. Goodbye.